everyone, this is Ross, and today I want to talk about the hardiest pomegranate that probably exists. This is the hardiest pomegranate variety. Um, I am in zone 7A. Um, this year we got down to 2 degrees Fahrenheit, and this pomegranate behind me has survived with zero damage. Even on the really thin wood that you would think would probably get desiccated, um, this tree just took this winter like a champ. I cannot believe it. Um, it's a variety called Salavatsky. And um, I'm gonna put that down in the description because I know someone's gonna get confused. But uh, this variety is incredible. Uh, you know, compared to some of my other figs, right? Um, that are supposed to be hardier than pomegranates. This one is like, beating even the hardiest of figs. This, this particular pomegranate has not only survived here, but it's also survived in zone 6B climates. I have uh, four friends that I can name off. One in Northeast Philadelphia, one in Reading, Pennsylvania, one in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and then the last one in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. All four of them have grown this particular pomegranate in a similar fashion as how I have it here which is we pick a nice microclimate, right? Figure out where the warmest spot is in your yard. For me, it's this little thing here against the house, this little area. The snow melts here first. How do I, and that's how I figured it out, right? Another way you can figure it out is take some soil temperatures, right? Take the temperature of the soil here versus all the other different places in your yard and figure out where it is the warmest. Of course, that's gonna change depending on the, you know, the time of the day and where the sun's at, but you know, you're gonna to wanna to basically take care and check on the soil temperature. Once you've figured out that location, hopefully it's protected from the wind. Um, you got some kind of protection behind it, whether that's a house, a fence, a wall, some kind of thermal mass. That's where you wanna plant this thing. Other than that, I haven't done really anything other than just put some rocks down around the base. I haven't wrapped it. I haven't sprayed it with wilt proof and anti-desiccant. I have done nothing except put this in the right spot. Not only have my friends gotten this thing to survive, but it fruits every year. Um, and it fruits pretty heavily too. They're not the largest pomegranates. They're not the tastiest pomegranates. They don't have the uh, maybe the softest seeds either. But they do hold up to the rain pretty decently. That's one big issue we have here in my climate. Is that not only do we have to get these things through the winter time, but then these will fruit for us and ripen in the fall. And usually our falls here in the mid-Atlantic or in the northeast of the Pens of United States is that we get a lot of rain in the fall and that rain will certainly split the fruit, ruin the fruit, just like our figs. Um, so the point I'm trying to make here is that if you wanna grow pomegranates in a cold climate, you can. Um, you absolutely can. And I hope that this video finds people out there that were wondering this exact question. Because I had wondered this exact question years ago if I could do this here in the ground. I love pomegranates. It's probably my third or fourth favorite fruit. Um, and if I can grow a variety here in the ground in a super cold climate as this, as a temperate climate, that's a subtropical tree. I'm impressed and I'm happy. So um, if you know someone who wants to grow pomegranates, share this video with, with that person. Um, if you want to see more videos like this where we talk about how to grow things in colder climates, subscribe, uh, like this video, comment down below. Also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, we post all kinds of things like this that are completely different than the videos though, different type of content. We also have a nice website, rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog. We can talk all about on the blog the actual 12 different varieties of pomegranates that I'm growing that maybe have different characteristics, whether that's maybe some are more soft seeded, some are more hard seeded, uh, some may taste better, have different flavors. So we're gonna get all into that this year on the blog. We're also gonna do plenty of videos on the pomegranates this year. And uh, I hope to come at you guys really in about six months or so with some ripe pomegranates. All right, take care and I'll catch you all soon. See you for tomorrow's video.